Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I am so excited to do t today's tutorial. It is putting Isabella on a foam board. I am just beyond ecstatic with how she turned out. Um, but before we get started on that, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And then I also have another announcement. If you haven't seen it yet, today is March 13th, which means that on joannes.com you can get your hands on an easy press three and you can also get their hat press so both are brand new products um the one that i got to work on and test that they sent to me early is the cricut easy press three so let me show you what that looks like um oops without the light shining on it uh so anyway check out the tiktok um or the instagram video whichever one you use or both um, and you know, of course, like it, love it, comment. <laughs> um, that was, uh, yeah, that I got to do a video for them. So I'm super excited to have worked with Joanne's and Cricut. Uh, so anyway, I will do a separate video on this, but I just wanted to let you know that you can check that out, um, on my other two social media accounts, uh, so that you can get a sneak peek. All right. And it also has an HTV hack. So. All right, let's get to the fun stuff because I am in love. So here she is. Let me turn her around. I mean, I felt like I was working on a wedding dress. Not that I sew or any of that stuff, but I absolutely, I love it. I love the color scheme. Um, I love the flowers cascading down. I feel like I could probably add a little bit. I, I mean, you can keep adding flowers, but um, I'm going to count later to see how many flowers we actually have. But this guy right here, because it's right next to her face, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I did crepe flowers, so crepe paper flowers. So it looks not like cardstock. I mean, that was really what I was going for. It's next to her beautiful face. I wanted something different. So I went with that. So if you see, I'm going to put this down for a second. Give me a second here. All right. Um, she's on a, like, you know, like it's a real flower that I was trying to work on. Well, not a real flower. You know what I mean? Uh, different than cardstock. So anyway, I am going to trim this later, but I figured for the foam board, I'm not going to have foam board covering this top part, but the rest of her is going to be covered. As you can see, it's going to be supported and I'll be fine. So I'm going to do it like this for now. And so what we'll do is we'll get started here. So grab a white pencil. This is the foam board from the Dollar Tree. So nothing's changed here. The only thing different that I'm going to do is purposely leave her the top part of her head off of the foam board so that I don't have to deal with the flower at this moment because I'm not sure how I'm going to do it just yet. <laughs> so, okay. So what you want to do is you want to trace around the image and we're going to cut inside the lines. So we're not worried the fact that you can see the white. Don't worry about that. And while we're doing this, if you're looking, I mean, she She's 30 inches and she barely has any seams. Obviously, she only has seams in the in the black, in the black outline. Um, this purple area, we ended up slicing it and turning it from one piece to three pieces, but we did deliberate cuts. So you can see it just looks like it started here. That was already here. I just continued the cut up here. It looks like it's part of the dress. There's another one right here, same thing. It starts here, but it didn't go all the way through. I did cut it all the way through, but then I ended up putting flowers over it, so it did not matter. Um, so the only seams that we have are, let me see if I can even find them. Um, oh, we've got one here and one here. So maybe about 0.3 inches right there. That's actually the only seams that are still left because everything else is covered by the flowers. Uh, we didn't have any up here. So yeah, so for a 30 inch character, the only seams you have are the two right here. And you know what? Ugh. I might just put a flower over there and call this whole thing seamless. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of annoyed that um, it's on that side, you know, whatever. <laughs> so let me finish this and then we can finish cutting it. We can start to cut this actually. 
Okay. So I'm going to move this to the side for now. And you can see this is where the flowers were. I couldn't get a really good trace. Okay. So it got kind of light right here because I had a hard time getting to it. All right. You want a sharp blade and you want to cut in a continuous stroke. It doesn't all have to be one stroke, but each stroke needs to be very uh, smooth. And to get the smooth cut, I'm gonna cut totally inside the lines, okay? So I'm gonna start here. Okay, so you can see it's smooth. It's not, comf I mean, it's not, look at how much I left on here. This was the outline of the dress, right? It doesn't matter. As long as it's mostly supported, then you're gonna be fine. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. And I'm actually gonna go back. I see some whites. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna cut closer in. And I think I had some right here. Okay. So you can see this part is actually pretty quick. Um, you need the self-healing mat below, you need a sharp blade, and that's it. Otherwise, I mean, this will look fine on the back. All right, let's do this here. There she is. All right, I'm gonna, and let's bring her back. And of course she's gonna be fine on this thing. And I'll flip her behind so you can see what that looks like. See, it looks great and it's totally good. Okay, so I'm actually, I'm gonna pull out the flower for now just so that I don't ruin the flower. And I'm gonna put it to the side. Oh, but if you wanna see, look at just so pretty right it just looks different it doesn't look like cardstock that's what I was going for okay so she is down what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna glue her from the top this time because this is the smallest part I'm gonna put glue right here to get started what in the world is this not plugged in Ah, my glue gun is was not hot enough. Okay, it wasn't it wasn't plugged for some reason. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a second for it to to warm up. Um, let's talk about all the details while I have you guys here. So this is just ribbon, and I took a thread and I threaded the top, and then that you know got the ruffles, and then I glued it down. This is vellum paper, and then I added the jewels, the rhinestones to mimic what she looks like on, on camera. And then I did this sleeve here. The rest are the flowers. Um, let's clean this up while we're here and we have some time. So I have my glue. I, I'm not sure which glue stick I'm using, but it is dripping like crazy. So I might have, I just wanna clean up the glue while we're waiting. Um, so the trick to the flowers is I chose, I don't know, like let's say it's just four different flowers. I did it in multiple sizes of the same flowers and in about four colors. And so that way it looks cohesive, but it doesn't look so repetitive. Um, you have the different sizes, like right here you can see we've got the spiral, we've got this little petal thing, the rose, and... Um, yeah, like two more, and then that's it. And then they just kept repeating. And then um, the pale pink was really, really pale. So I took the pan pastels and I kind of, it just felt like makeup with a sponge, like a, almost like a beauty blender. I added a little bit of more of like a hot pink to it. So it just gave it a little bit of color, but still really, really subtle. Uh, which is totally what I was going for. I just, I mean, I, I love it. I think she looks so, so pretty. 
and I was so happy that I was able to use um, for her skin and her lips, they are the two colors from my curated cardstock selection, which I, I'm going to check on the order. I'm going to, I know it's, it's been sold out, but hopefully I'll have more. Um, but I absolutely just love it. I feel like she looks like what she's supposed to look like. Um, and she looks beautiful. I, I don't know I, everything about this. I love it. So if you haven't bought the file or if you want to do this project, it's with the Salty Yankee. Um, and with the next one, she I just reached out to her today. I asked her if, if we should do a Bruno with the rats. So I'm not looking forward to doing the rats, but I feel like now that we have two characters, we've got Maribel and we've got Isabella. They have, they are so much more than just cardstock projects that the next one that I do in this series, whether it's, I'm going to do Bruno and I'm going to do Louisa, um, I think. And for the moment, that's the plan. But I got to think of like how to make them different and stand out. So with Bruno, it's going to be some sort of like fuzzy rats. <laughs> with Louisa, I got to study that some more. I'm not really sure how I'm going to make it look more than paper um, and do her justice. So, all right, let's see. This is getting hot. Um, the other thing is, I don't know if you remember this, but when I pieced, when we glued her down, this section right here, somewhere up here, the spacing was a little bit off. Oh, I think it's down here. The spacing was a little bit off and then I ended up just covering it with the flowers. So it's always nice to be able to add more things to it to hide your imperfections. Um, in this case, like I, the seams looked great. The deliberate seams looked really, really good. You can check out that, you know, that tutorial, both the design space tutorial and the assembly of this before the flowers. And it would have looked totally good. Um, but the flowers covering it was just like, it's just where it should have been. So anyway, all right, let's glue down this first section right here. So I'm just gonna lift her up en enough to glue down a piece of this to then lift the rest and kind of start adding more glue. So this is gonna be the start of it. And you kind of just wanna do a little bit at a time so that you can lift her up and make sure that she's totally supported so now I'm going to turn this over this way and I'm going to lift her up like this. So hopefully you can kind of see. Yeah. And then I'm going to start adding a little bit of glue and easing her down. So she's going to be totally supported, totally um, connected to the foam board. She's going to be stable and she'll be great propped up against a table at the cake table, at the dessert table, great for pictures. So I already took her outside to do my usual um, pictures for Instagram and Facebook, and she photos so well. I'm just, I'm just in love with her. I think she's, <laughs> she's perfect. I love, I love the ruffles and the lace right here because clearly it looks like lace. It's not just her skin. It's not just like little jewels on there. Um, just so happy with this piece <laughs> when it all works out. It took a while because I wasn't, I didn't know where I was going with this. I didn't want to do the same flowers that I had for Frida. Um, so anyway, that's kind of where I was at. Okay, I'm going to add more, a bigger glue stick. Okay, so you see what I'm doing? All right. And I'm we're putting down a lot of glue. So she will stay glued to this foam board and you know, be really secure. I wouldn't worry about that. In fact, we don't even need to glue the rest of it, really. I mean, she's going to stay propped up. You know what I was thinking, though? Um, for the bottom, I don't... 
because okay so let me talk about that real quick usually the bottom i go right to the edge of the pencil line the only reason why i didn't do it this time is because i did maribel 48 inches so i knew i wasn't going to stand this up right next to it so that's why i didn't go all the way to the edge but normally that edge is what's going to uh you know stay stand propped up so anyway i should have mentioned that before i did that okay let's do this otherwise i normally would cut right like i said right to the line for the pencil at the bottom so that it's the foam board that's touching the the you know the edge of the table or whatever so here she is she look she's standing propped up <laughs> so all right let me know what you think let me know about bruno about louisa oh on this one let's let's talk about this so i am going to i'm gonna put her through put the flower through and I think I'm gonna trim this off with pliers and then I will use a glue gun to keep this in place so that it's not up and down like this but that it stays put all right okay I am gonna see you guys next time let me know in comments what you want to see and special requests questions about the easy press 3 all right bye guys